Good morning. How is everybody doing this morning? Well, Chip's wanting to say hi to everybody. Say hi, Chip. Yeah. Yeah, I think everybody's going to enjoy seeing you this morning. So are you all ready to sing some songs this morning? Me and my little baby, or my brat, are ready to sing some songs with you. Are you ready? So why don't we get our lights ready? So who do we let our light shine for? Let our light shine for Jesus. So I've got a candle I'm going to use instead of my finger. Are you all ready? This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Won't let Satan eat it up. I'm going to let it shine. Won't let Satan eat it up. I'm going to let it shine. Won't let Satan eat it up. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine. Hide it under a bushel, no! I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Very good, very good. All right. So why don't we stand up and let's get our blood flowing real good this morning and let's sing, I am the Lord's army. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly or the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army. Yes, sir. I'm in the Lord's army, yes sir. I may never march in the infantry, ride in the cavalry, shoot the artillery. I may never fly or the enemy, but I'm in the Lord's army, yes sir. Very good. All right, how about we sing a uh, Hmm, might be a good one this morning. How about wrap it up, tied up? So let's review the hand motion. I'm wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up. All right, you ready? We're gonna sing it slow first. On the first time through, we're gonna sing it slow. And then we'll speed up on the next one. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up. In God, I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God. Let's try it again, but let's try to do it a little faster. Are you ready? I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in God. I'm all wrapped up, I'm all tied up, I'm all tangled up in Jesus. I'm wrapped up, tied up, tangled up in God. Oh yeah. Whoo! Let me catch my breath after that one. That was pretty fast, wasn't it? All right, so let's do one more. And let's do Blue Skies and Rainbows. I know a couple of people who that's their favorite. Blue skies and rainbows and sunbeams from heaven are what I can see. When my Lord is living in me, I know that Jesus is well and alive today he makes his home in my heart never more will i be all alone since he promised me that we never would part tall mountains green valleys the beauty that surrounds me all making me free from the one who made it all i know that jesus is well and alive today he makes his home in my heart never more will i be all alone since he promised me that we never would part all right let's sing jesus loves me Jesus loves the little children, all the children of the world. 
Red and yellow, black and white, they are precious in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Are y'all ready to sing Jericho Walls? Chip's ready. He's all ready to go. All right, let's get ready. We're marching around the Jericho Walls, Jericho Walls, Jericho Walls. We're marching around the Jericho Walls early in the morning. This is the way we blow our horns, blow our horns, blow our horns. This is the way we blow our horns early in the morning. This is the way we march real quiet, march real quiet, march real quiet. This is, shh, we're gonna march quiet. This is the way we march real quiet early in the morning. This is the way we shout real loud, shout real loud, shout real loud. This is the way we shout real loud early in the morning. This is the way the walls fall down. Walls fall down. Walls fall down. This is the way the walls fall down early in the morning. All right, guys, I've enjoyed singing with you all, and I hope you have a great day. Bye. Good morning. How is everybody doing today? So this morning, we're going to learn about Abraham and Sarah. Now, again, because I know we've been learning about them for the past couple of Sundays, so we're going to continue to learn about them for a couple more. So this morning, our lesson is going to come from Genesis... 18, 1 through 15, and 21, 1 through 5. Now remember, Genesis is in the Old Testament, and it is the first book in the Bible, see? Or in the Old Testament, and the first book in the Bible. So it's going to come from Genesis today. Now, Abraham and Sarah lived at Hebron, and that was where they went to where God led him to after he talked to Abraham about how he was going to make him a great nation. So let's see if I can get this map there for you and I'll point it out. So Hebron is right here. That's where they settled. That's where God had them settled to and moved them to. God also changed their names from Abraham to Abraham and Sarah to Sarah. Now, God had made a promise to Abraham that he would be a father to a great nation. So here's Abraham. See, he's talking to God because this is when God was promising him that he was going to make him a great nation. However, Abraham and Sarah didn't have any children. Now, both Abraham and Sarah were considered were old. And they thought they were too old to have any kids. But one day, Abraham was resting. See, Abraham with the white beard. Looks a little old there. One day, Abraham was resting near his tent. And he heard footsteps. There, three men were getting ready to say hi to him. So you see the three men? All right, so Abraham went to greet the three men. Would you like to sit in the shade, he asked him, because it was a little warm that day and they were kind of in the desert. Would you like some cool water to drink? And can I get you something to eat? So Abraham and Sarah were trying to be hospitable and offer these strangers a place to cool off, rest, and some food to put in their bellies to eat. So Abraham told Sarah to make them a tasty meal. So there's Sarah with Abraham and he's asking her to make them a tasty meal for the three visitors to eat. So while they were eating, the, vis the three visitors shared some exciting news. 
they said, your wife is gonna have a son. So see, they're sitting in the shade with that yummy, tasty meal that Sarah had just made for them. And they just told Abraham that his wife, Sarah, was gonna have a son. Well, Sarah heard this. She heard what they said and she laughed thinking she was too old. But God asked Abraham, why did Sarah laugh? Anything is possible with the Lord. So Sarah thought it was kind of funny because she thought she was too old to have a baby. But they told her that anything is possible with God. Well, sure enough, the next year, Abraham and Sarah welcome a baby boy into their family. And they named him Baby Isaac. So see Abraham and Sarah with Baby Isaac? So, remember that anything is possible with God. And God took care of Abraham and Sarah and like him taking care of Abraham and Sarah, God takes care of us too. Now, the reason they named Isaac, his name was because it means laughter. And Sarah had laughed when she heard the three men tell Abraham that she was gonna have a baby. So, Abraham and Sarah found out that God keeps his promises because remember he promised Eric, Sarah and Abraham that they would be a great nation and they would have lots of descendants. And so with their one child, Isaac, Abraham's family will grow to become really, really large. Good morning, guys. So today I'm gonna be making our craft. So since we made, we learned about baby Isaac, um, today we're going to be making baby Isaac. So what I'm going to use is a popsicle stick, a piece of paper, glue or tape, and a marker. So first, we're going to put our popsicle stick like this in our uh, paper. Ah. So I'm gonna put the popsicle stick right here and then we're gonna fold the paper over the popsicle stick like it's a blanket. So I'm gonna take this corner and fold it down. And then here is where we're gonna use our tape and we're gonna tape the paper down so it stays. And so it keeps our popsicle stick warm like it's a baby. So now we're going to take the bottom of our paper and we're going to fold it up, fold it upward like this and take our tape and tape it down. Okay, now we're going to fold our last piece over like this. So now it looks like he's in a little blanket, but we have to still have to draw our face on. So we're gonna tape them over. Okay, now that we have our little body, we're gonna draw a face on him, like he's a baby. So you can draw however you want him, however you want his face to be like. And here's my baby Isaac. Okay, if you're going along with me, I hope you're have, gonna have such a good week. Bye. Good morning, friends. We are gonna make a snack today that is sure to make you smile, just like Abraham and Sarah did when they had their baby. So what we're gonna do is we are going to make little apple smiley faces. So what you'll need is you'll need an apple or two. We'll need some peanut butter. We'll need, a, with an adult's help, either a knife or I even have this apple cutter that works great. So you don't have to keep chopping each little piece up. And you're gonna need some mini marshmallows. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna cut your apple, make sure you clean it first, that way it's not all dirty and nasty. 
Then after you've cut your apple, I already cut some slices up, you're going to take two slices, of my two slices here, and you're going to take some peanut butter, and you're going to put it on each side, or each, a side of each of those slices. And it might be kind of slippery because the apple doesn't like the peanut butter to stick very well. Now that you've got your two slices with your peanut butter on them, those are going to be your lips or your mouth. So you're going to take your little mini marshmallows, you're going to stick them on one side. Those are going to be your teeth, so it's going to look silly. It's like when you make a silly smiley face. Alright, so I got my marshmallows and my apple, and I'm going to stick the other apple on the other side. You're going to smush them together so it makes a silly smiley face. might look goofy, you can make it however you want. You can even use chocolate chips or some other small little fruit, like raisin or something, to make it look really silly. So that is our apple smiley face. Make sure you guys smile today and smile every day this week. Because spreading a smile can even spread happiness to other people. Guys, I hope you have a great week and enjoy your snack. Bye!